Hello, 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 and welcome to day 27 of 30 Days of Kindness. Welcome to you if you're joining on the replay. Melissa, hello. <laughs> Good to see you. How are you today? Hello, Mark 104X. Hamoudi155. I'll never know the handles. You just never know who you really are. I'm good. Yeah, we're on day 27. Big up, big super right. Welcome to you. Hey, Indra. All in black today. Well, kind of a, a petrol grey there. <laughs> so, my name is Joel Young. I'm the creator and custodian of MPA, which stands for Non-Personal Awareness, and is a very kind thing to do for yourself because it helps you stop taking things personally. Thank you for sharing, Indra. That's beautiful. I'm always open and I welcome the shares. So, um... Yeah, we're doing 30 days of self-directed kindness. We're actually on day 27 and uh, so nearly at the end. So this month, it's all been about including yourself in the equation of kindness. So that's what we're about. And each day, hey, Marion, good to see you. Uh, it really, we're, I'm offering a, what I call a moment of kindness. So the moment of kindness is a chance for you to bring a bit of self-directed kindness into your day. Good morning, everyone. Hey, enter. Good to see you. Thanks for coming on. Day 27. Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> I can't believe the months just got away. <laughs> Flown by. So uh, 30 days of self-directed kindness. Good day. Good day to you, Yenta. Good day. That's like an old fashioned. Good day. Kindness is in short supply. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in the energy, especially in the UK as well. It's sort of not entirely dying down, but there we go. Uh, it did go by fast. Yeah, it feels that way to me. Hey, Creativity Tribe, is that you, Tammy? Good to see you. Great day to be alive. Yes. Now, Eagle Tracker, I recognise your handle. So I'm not sure if I've seen you on here before or on Indroscopes, but oh, thank you for sharing there, Marion. Now, we're not connected on Facebook, so I can't come acknowledge you. So do feel free to go ahead and friend me on Facebook uh, so I can come and say thank you for those lovely, lovely shares. Um, so, yeah, we're... Um, 30 days of kindness, including yourself in the equation of kindness. So how are we all today? I've been doing videos this morning and busy day, clients, those kind of things. So, oh, lovely red hearts. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for the hearts. Always appreciate that. Hey, Heidi. Oh, I know I was asking was um, someone who's, um, whose name, whose handle even escapes me. And I was wondering what your name was. And I recognized your name from before on mine or Indroscope. Wasn't sure which. Rachel here, okay. Is that Rachel or Rachel? Sounds like Rachel. Oh, see, I just didn't even read on there. Rachel. Well, good to see you, Rachel. Team trademark. Hey, Jennifer. So loads of people are coming in. That's brilliant. Good to see you. So, yeah, it's um, funny old times we live in. Good morning to you. <laughs> good to see you. So we're 27 days in. I cannot believe it. Um, Thursday is actually the last day of the 30 days of kindness and just to give you a heads up we're going to be doing a celebration and Indra's coming down that day and we're meeting up with Sonam, I, don't, I haven't seen Sonam for a while and um, so there's a very good possibility that there'll be three of us on that uh, on that sort of celebration final day so I do invite you to come along on Thursday at two o'clock um, and, and join that one for sure. So 30 days of kindness, let me just turn this around just do this little plug thing here, but it's really good if you can get it. So it comes from a hundred days of kindness ebook. So there's a hundred moments of kindness that you can play with, practice, all of these things. You can go ahead and get that at mpa4.me slash be kind to you as you see it there. And also I haven't talked much about MPA today, but if it comes up then you can find out about that at nonpersonalmoments.com or you can just stick a dot com on the end of my handle, which is Joel Young MPA dot com so let's go for it i'm in the mood to go right in for it who would like to have the big reveal let me hear you say yeah <laughs> oh jennifer you made indra cry yeah that was beautiful feedback so yep yep hi everyone yes we got some yeses want to find out what today's moment of kindness is some flowers for yes brilliant okay so, let's see what this is. Here we go. Um, give yourself permission to be angry. <laughs> 
Feeding it will bring more flow than blocking it. Now, some of us are good at feeling angry, so this might not be such a such a thing, but sometimes we can feel guilty afterwards uh, while they compliment each other. Um, but for a lot of people, it's difficult to allow yourself to even admit that you're angry, let alone feel. This is easy for you, Andrew. <laughs> yes, indeed. So one thing, if, if anger is sort of naturally easy for you, then just have a check if, if after you get angry, you beat yourself up for it, because that's somewhere where you're not really um, giving yourself permission. But you can come back with a, actually, it's better to let it out and flow. Hey, Sonam, your ears must have been burning. So I was talking about us meeting up on Thursday, which is the last day of my 30 days of kindness. So we're going to have a, a threesome celebration, and that'll be really, really good fun. Hey, lovely. So this is day 27, a moment of kindness to give yourself permission to be angry. Feeling it will bring more flow than blocking it. Now, if you saw my post on Facebook about the Brexit thing, then um, one of the things that, that I mentioned on there was about sort of rather than projecting the anger out, it's about feeling the anger because there's two distinct things that happen there. You can, it's one thing to, um, to be angry and then spit it all over somebody else versus noticing that there's anger there, feeling it fully and just letting yourself have it and then allowing it to pass naturally. Now, there was a bone of contention somewhere on Facebook about um, from someone who's very much into the law of attraction. And uh, they were saying that, you know, they, they'd rather sort of find the feeling place of something else, which is all well and good. Uh, and that sitting in, angry, in anger was something they never wanted to do. So it's great if you can um, preempt anger with genuine, fully, truly, honestly, fully authentic connection, not feel anger. But most of us don't have that ability. So um, in that case, the other thing is, is that sometimes what we do is we put a happy sticker over the anger. Uh, because actually what we're really doing is resisting the anger. We're not allowing ourselves to acknowledge or feel it, and it just gets suppressed and comes out in some other way. Boo, indeed. Boo to putting a happy, smiley face over the, over the anger. So this isn't an invitation to go and be a shithead to somebody else. <laughs> Excuse the phrase. Um, although sometimes it has to just come out that way. But, but fundamentally, it's an invitation. It's an invitation, hi Vanessa, to notice that there's anger there, to acknowledge it, to honour it, to say, yes, I'm willing to experience it, which is the last lane of the uh, happy sticker. Woohoo! I didn't catch your name there, but could see. So, um, so rather than putting happy sticker over it, it's to acknowledge it. And then the invitation is to let yourself be angry, which means you can have the anger come through you. Now, um, something that I've worked with for many years is the journey, which is a great training for sort of what I call sitting in the emotions. Uh, what it really means is allowing yourself to really face it. So then it builds up and I explode, so I stopped holding in my feelings of anger. That's really good. So I'm generally, my personality is, a, is averse to anger. It's taken me many, many years to be comfortable with it. But even now, in subtle ways, you know, it can, it can be disallowed. And then I notice it sort of, it does, it builds up and then comes out in, in shitty, passive, non-helpful ways. Or just bites me on the arse later with some unconscious pattern. <laughs> So I'm really practicing on a very subtle way of really acknowledging, acknowledging, you know, the feelings that are coming up. And I find Linda very inspirational for that because she's very free with uh, with her emotions in that way, in an expressive way, not just a sitting with way. I hope you don't mind me saying that, Indra, but it's, it, it is an inspiration. Eagle Tracker. Now, you're the person whose name I, or handle I recognized, uh, but didn't know your name. Uh, maybe you've told me before. If so, I forgot. <laughs> See, look at all those emoticons. Classic example. <laughs> And hey, Jesse, 38. I love the number 38, by the way. It's uh, it's my life path number, 3811. Fouled. Fou oh, how gosh, how do you say it? Fuad, Fuad? I'm going to be, sorry, horribly ignorant trying to pronounce your name. But uh, if you can do it phonetically as best you can. Yes, Fuad. Great. <laughs> well, welcome back. So, um, so yes, the invitation really is, is to really, first of all, acknowledge, thank you. <laughs> Good to know. Where's that from, by the way? I'm curious, where are you from? Where's the name from? Is it kind of a, is it Asian? Is it Middle Eastern? I'm not sure. Hey, Heidi, coming back. If I buy kebabs and curries, does that mean I am funding terrorism? No, but it does mean it's a really dumb thing to say, so you're gone. Lebanon. Okay, great. I thought it might be Middle Eastern. Well, thanks for being here. Okay, so yes, yeah, so let's talk a bit about um, 
about anger. So we just read 27. We're doing 30 days of self-directed kindness. And day 27. Give yourself permission to be angry. Feeling it will bring more flow than blocking it. I just say, hey, are you pissing me off? I've had to nip it in the bud, so to speak. Yeah, so that is a great practice to do. Uh, <laughs> is that autocorrect nightmare there? <laughs> so that's a great practice to do. By the way, feel free to screenshot this and share it out so that other people, if they're not able to be on Periscope or miss it, can catch that, uh, that little moment of kindness. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Two screenshots. Woo! Yeah, you. You can then hit the button to share it on Twitter. It should come up on the screen there. Mistakes start with anger, end in regret. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Again, every time that you kind of suppress it, either it comes up with a bang or or it ends up coming out usually in some kind of passive or unconscious pattern. And again, just to be really, really clear, this isn't about saying give yourself permission to be an idiot and, and to, to be really horrible. Although I have to put a caveat on that because sometimes in the beingness of it, that's just all you can do to get things moving. The Big Bang, yes, indeed. Like a volcano. Uh, you're brilliant with this. <laughs> well, the explosions. You know, a lot of people feel safe um, to sort of express their anger with someone they love and trust. Um, but it's quite difficult to, to sometimes express your anger in, in polite company. Um, but uh, that's always part of the practice. So the other part of this is feeling it will bring more flow than blocking it. And that's the point, really. It, any emotion this is true for. They say anger that is contained is like holding hot coal. Nice one. Another good one there. Uh, a good physical workout releases lots of anger in a nice way. Yeah, it definitely can do. My only, my only sort of um, my only thing there, and it can work for a lot of people, is if the anger is you not the anger if the if the exercise is used to sort of push the uh, the feeling away and then the, the cause of it isn't addressed. That's the only thing I would say about the exercise version. I'm glad I am in good company. <laughs> Welcome to Volcano Island. Endorphins, they're the ones, because endorphins can suppress the anger. So anger is a sure road to disease. Uh, it can be. Um, I'm not one for absolutes, Heidi, but yes, certainly it doesn't help with the body's chemistry. It doesn't create helpful chemistry. Hey, James, good to see you. Thanks for sharing. Um, so, yeah, so this is true of any, not just anger, but I picked on anger because it's one of those ones. I, I think of anger as an emotion with terrible PR. <laughs> Especially, you no, know, it's a negative emotion, it's a bad emotion. But the truth is that anger is an, absolutely a part of, of life. It's part of, of, of what causes us to, to get into tremendous an action at time. So, but when you, when you block any emotion, it does tend to stagnate, back things up. Uh, puts a jam in the cogs of your psychological being. I'm giving some anger advice to some upcoming teenagers I'm mentoring. Tough work. Oh, great. Um, Mr. Mouse. Mr. Mouse, what's your name? Are you called really Mr. Mouse? You may be. Um, it is part of self-defense. Okay, great. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, it is. Wonderful work. Yeah, I really admire people who work with teens. Um, we had a teen on one of these... Uh, scopes recently of mine um, who was in a, in a really dark place and I was we were so delighted all of us we kind of got together and supported him um, maybe you were there on that one so tell me tell me about your relationship with teens are great yeah you just had a house full of well pre-teens <laughs> they're getting there so tell me so we found out that a lot of us on this scope today um, has anyone heard from Liam? I haven't seen him again, Jennifer. Um, that's the, the guy I was mentioning before. Uh, he turned up briefly on Indroscope the same day, but uh, I haven't seen him since. So um, we just send out prayers that uh, that he's okay and he's moved through it and got the help that he needs. Hey, I have had teens for a long time. Yes, that's very true. <laughs> very true. Goddess Nikki 66, welcome. I don't want any anger just like anything else and acknowledge it. Exactly. That, that's the whole point of this, this conversation, Heidi, is it's about rather than blocking it, giving some spiritual story that it's not okay or it'll... Again, some of, some of the... Here's my slightly her heretical take. Uh, you're welcome. Good to see you, Nikki. Um, I find anger now very healthy. I feel, it, I feel it. Let it pass, then speak from it. It's very powerful. You know, in, in the times that I've spent really, really, really acknowledged going deep into like underneath anger, there's all sorts of types, but 
in a lot of us, if you really, really go down, there's rage under there, there's killer rage. And if you really meet them, there's such incredible energy and power and freedom and, and joy. The few times that I've really, and I, f I feel hatred and resentment is higher up the hate ladder. Yeah, again, hatred is, again, another one of those sort of dark emotions with terrible PR that ultimately is just an emotion. You've met them, Nikki, yeah. So if you meet them, it's it's an in incredible thing. So my personal experience of meeting most men do not express their emotions and hidden stress. That's also true, very much so. I only use them when my energy has been depleted. Okay, yeah. Most I think I think we're getting there with with the men. Start, they're starting to have a kind of a resurgence, not a resurgence, a kind of a a layer of awakening seems to be coming through the masculine energy right now. Um, there's a lot more men seeking out more in, in, in a way men's groups because I think um, many of the the front wave of the of the awakening has been very much um, sort of uh, sort of goddess or female led and many of the ways that's presented has not necessarily been so palatable or relevant to men and now there's a lot more people teaching men work men's work and speaking to them and their issues directly which is a friggin wonderful thing because I'm all for men coming up and sort of bringing more consciousness, you know, expressing their emotions more, uh, opening to their feminine side. It's needed. Yes, it is. And I'm sure all you lovely ladies uh, can't wait for lots of more men to become conscious and meet you where you are as well. So that's a, that's a great thing. So uh, I told you run a men's group. <laughs> yeah, I should definitely contemplate that. Yeah. OK. I hear you, Indra. I hear you. <laughs> You should. It's sexy too. Yeah, conscious men and all that stuff. You love it. <laughs> Coming back, you missed that. We're talking about men's groups and, and, and men not necessarily expressing their emotions and, um, and how uh, more men actually are, are starting to do that and there's more groups coming along for men and more men seeking out groups. And I was saying about how, um, you know, there's been the, the, the real front wave of this wave of awakening has been um, mostly uh, female led. I think men that are hard work with emotion sometimes have an armour of pride and ego. Yeah, there's many reasons why men don't express themselves. A lot of it is, is just a cultural indoctrination and they think it's not OK. From an MPA perspective, from a non-personal perspective, I'm, I'm chatting on so often it from a non-personal perspective, um, it's it's about the cultural identity or the, the, the masculine identity. So for me, the work would be around shifting the identity. What does it mean to be a man? Um, and, you know, what what if what was available to you was much more feminine energy, but it didn't necessarily mean you, you uh, or, the, or allowing the, the shift in identity to shift. And then also, I think what's really important for men is they understand the actions and they understand the benefit of those actions and they understand the reasons why it's a good thing to go through all that, you know, face all that stuff that you have to face. And there's also the fears that, that it, you know, it will make you weak. And these kind of things are also part of the, the kind of the, the habitual sort of ancient training that, that men have had. And, you know, I think there's another side to men, as long as I'm banging on about my views on, on men and emotions is that um, I think there's an underlying sense of perhaps guilt or caution with modern men of what the, the masculine itself has been responsible for over the many years. And that's kind of um, at odds with a, with a wanting for equality, ironically, and also for, for a sense of freedom. So part of the, I know in my path of coming in, because I often talk about my human beings have to express have to express in my opinion yes I think that's really true so I often describe my path actually as a task of remasculation because I was very feminized I grew up with a very strong feminist mother my dad wasn't around uh, two elder sisters uh, the impression I got from from that setup was it was a really bad idea to be a man <laughs> give some hearts a joke oh bless you yeah let's get my heart thing up and if you haven't shared already do share share for the men <laughs> As we're talking about men out of nowhere. So yeah, we talked about my path being the path of remasculation. So I, I was very much in a state of emasculation. The great gift of that was I got very much in touch with my feminine side, um, which I still very much am. But it's been one of the things I found in my path into the masculine was, was very much a, a fear of 
uh, of the aggressive aspects, the, 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 the yang really, the aggressive aspects, and that my expression of that, one, two, three, viva Algeria, okay. I'm trying to not do that to my son. You're helping a lot. Oh, good. I'm glad that I'm glad that's connecting. One thing that I, I do notice, and um, was chatting about this with Indra yesterday because she had a bunch of twelve rods, including some guys. Is is I'm loving how the my kids' generation um, are so much more relationally intelligent. Uh, the the boys especially are much more willing to demonstrate emotions and all these kind of things. Um, but they they are hitting. Um, I think as they come into their teens, perhaps they're hitting some of those blocks. And there's there's quite a bit of, um, I guess, from my perspective, some uh, some skewing stuff that's happened from the availability of things like porn and stuff like that in the sexual arena. But I figure they're they're working through that in their own way, and it's going to be different to our generation. But what our generation, um, well, young, slightly younger than me, I'd say, sort of the the thirties um, up to me and beyond is about really bringing in this lifetime a sense of a sense of bringing that balance in and i think there's a long a, a strong longing in the human soul to uh, to really come into that space of divine feminine divine masculine and it's a very strong pull at the very heart of our souls and obviously this within the, the human being <clears throat> there's going to be those that spearhead that and those that are, are going to catch up only when it's only have to <laughs> But um, yeah, great topic. Yeah, I, okay. So in, in hearing myself go on about this, I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe I should really listen to Indra and the rest of you guys, and do something with men. My my thing is always the choices. Of, there's so many things. I mean, I've got my fingers in so many pies, and there's only one of me. So um, and uh, so it's about really how can I get the support for that, and um, and do I have time to do it? But I hear the calling, and uh, and thank you for that yourself not to me yeah very true it's very true indeed so well, I was listening to myself going on about it and I thought well I do it maybe I do have something to offer in that department so let's go back and finish off with the final reminder of day 27 give yourself permission to be angry or really feel any emotion because feeling it uh, will bring more flow to blocking it write a book <laughs> I need to write that MPA book. I've, I've got it. I need to get it edited. I've got one that just needs editing, really. Um, there we go. So there we go. Do go ahead and get hold of the 100 Days of Kindness ebook at that address there. And if you're curious about what I'm about, the non-personal perspective on women, men, stuff, life, all of that things, then check out uh, my handle.com, which is joelandmpa.com, or nonpersonalawareness.com. And um, I haven't plugged Indra today, but she is on at half past two. What time is it now? In about five, six minutes. Um, so do go ahead. I'll be there uh, having a chat in the background. Um, and I always am a big fan of that. I think in North America, the modern man has allowed the woman to take the lead. Thank you for that, Indra. Well, I think there's been a bit of a pendulum swing that's happened. Um, and I think that the modern man is a little bit um, lost, to be honest. There's one of the highest suicide rates is in young men. And it, I think it really is about reaching out for a sense of identity without it being an unhealthy identity that causes you to, um, well, to act unhealthily. And so maybe that's where I can come in. <laughs> maybe I should have a men's uh, a, a periscope thing for, for men. That's, that comes to my mind. Kind of, yes, we need them to escalate and expand. Yeah, the, the women, the goddesses of the world, are so calling out for men to sort of come into themselves in a, in a divine masculine because that's that's the thing, guys. It's like hard finding some spirituality in men on here. Yeah, a lot, a lot of trolls. <laughs> and welcome back, Astral Travel Academy. Good to see you. Um, it's, is it Aaron? Is that you, the Aaron guy? That's the marketing guy, isn't it? No, you're not Aaron. I can't think of your name. So, um, so yeah, we, you can't have one without the other. So to me, what's happening is, I was just going to say that to you, <laughs> David. Thanks, David. So the, the divine goddess has really gone run ahead. Uh, there's many, many more women that are kind of stepping more into their divine sacred feminine. Um, but that's going to stop. It's going to block because you can't move forward until the men catch up. So we need to get them in. Yeah, so so David, they've been encouraging me to do some work with men. So I'm not sure I'd do a workshop or such, but I might do a, I might do a Periscope series on uh, divine masculine. Um, and actually, my um, 
my business partner and I talked about um, doing something called Conscious Beast, which is a man's thing. So we might, might raise that with him tomorrow when I speak to him. So, um, so yeah, so in order for the divine goddess, the divine feminine to move forward, us fellas have to really step into the divine masculine so we can move forward together. One thing I like more, women are paying for the meals on a date. <laughs> Awesome, love that. Sounds fab. Okay, thank you for your encouragement on that. Um, thank you for being here. Remember to acknowledge the emotions, including anger. Let yourself feel it. Um, let it pass, and then allow the flow to return. Tomorrow we're on day twenty-eight. I've no idea what it is. I'm gonna check in front of you. Oh, it's a good one tomorrow. So don't miss that. I will see you at two o'clock. Join me on Indra's scope in about five minutes. Uh, maybe less and I will see you there. I so appreciate you choosing this path and spending this time with me. God bless. Mwah. See you guys. Bye now.